Welcome back to Harbor. With two weeks to go before the presidential election, Bill Maher is front and center talking politics, religion, and everything else having to do with Decision 2008. You can catch him live every Friday night at 11 p.m. Eastern on HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher and in theaters in his new movie, Religilus. Hard to pronounce that, Bill. How do you pronounce that? Welcome back to Harbor. How do you pronounce the name of your movie? It's Religilus. It's like you're saying religion and then you go to ridiculous for obvious reasons. Spe well, speaking of which, let's take a look at a little favorite of ours now from last Friday. This is Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman and what she had to say about her colleagues on Capitol Hill. So this is a character issue. You believe that, that Barack Obama may, you're suspicious because of this relationship, may have anti-American views. Otherwise, it's probably irrelevant to this d discussion. So absolutely. You it, it I, the, I, I, so you I, believe absolutely. that Barack Obama yes. may have anti-American views. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'm very concerned that he may have anti-American views. That's what the American people are concerned about. That's why they want to know what his answers are. That's why Joe the Plumber what, has what, figured what, so highly in the last few days. Okay. Because Joe the Plumber, what I would say, what I would say is that the news media should do a penetrating expose and take a look. I wish they would. I wish the American media would take a great look at the views of the people in Congress and find out are they pro-America or anti-America. I think people would be would love to see an expose like that. Hey, Bill, are you willing to take up your burden in that and conduct it a penetrating in, in a, a investigation of the anti-American views on the other side of the aisle? Chris, I love it when you give dumb people just enough rope to hang themselves. <laughs> and uh, I must say, I, I had not heard of this congressperson before this, uh, but I did see your show, and I saw her do this, and I thought, oh, that's going to be an issue. Uh, but what well, I've heard about her can is... I cue you, can I cue you up another one? Here's something fresh from today, fresh from the world of 2008 politics. This is uh, the vice presidential nominee of the Republican Party talking about her notion of what the vice presidency holds for her. A vice president has a really great job because not only are they there to support the president's agenda, they're like the team member, the teammate to that president, but also they're in charge of the United States Senate. So if they want to, they can really get in there with the senators and make a lot of good policy changes that will make life better. Wow. I heard this begin during the debate when her notion of the vice presidency is she's going to run the U.S. Senate. I thought it was a formality to just break ties and sit up there. She says she's going to basically be in charge of the Senate. She's going to get through good policy. She's going to get in there and work. I guess she has to take a look at the Constitution before she, uh, well, at least takes office. Well, that would involve reading, Chris, so I wouldn't hold your breath on that. Uh, I was just going to say, before you showed the second clip, that what I was hearing about this uh, congresswoman in Minnesota is that she's the only person in public office these days who's actually dumber than Palin. But I don't know. After I heard that clip that you just showed me, that's a toss-up. That's a real Beavis and Butthead we've got there. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't know how we got to... Yes, sir? I'm just wondering about this rift that's been going on the last couple of days. Maybe it's because of the poll numbers showing like a 14-point spread now for Barack. But you've, in the last couple of weeks, he's a celebrity. He consorts with terrorists. He's a socialist. He's an anti-American. Today, Mel Martinez, he's a communist. They hate America, the liberals. It's getting hotter and hotter. At this rate, two weeks from now, I don't know what the accusations are going to be. But this is old old time Republican boilerplate that we've lived with for the longest time. It's just getting nastier because these are the people, this is the old guard who fears that their their claw uh, that's on the lever of power is finally being pried off. Uh, so they do what Republicans in this era always do. Uh, if you say something that's a, a valid criticism of some Republican policy, they go right to turning it around to, no, you're attacking something noble that's associated with that policy. If you say that George Bush avoided Vietnam, you're denigrating the guard. If you say Sarah Palin is not uh, qualified to be uh, holding high office, well, then somehow you're attacking small-town America. Uh, and so it's just gotten ratcheted up to this level where somehow Barack Obama is a socialist and a, and a communist. I, I, don't, I don't even know where they're getting it. They're, they're just pulling out of Joe the Plumber's crack. Yeah, let me go to your line of uh, his what? His what? 
Well, you know, pl you know plumbers, Chris. I don't want to have to spell it out for you. Okay, I don't know. Let me, let me, here's a quote from Governor Pele. More food for thought. Quote, faith and God in general has been mocked through this campaign, and that breaks my heart. You know, except for that comment made up there on Russian Hill or Knob Hill, wherever it was, back several months ago when uh, Barack Obama was trying to explain to the rich people why some middle class people wouldn't vote for him besides race. Um, I haven't heard a lot of reference derogatory of religion at all in this campaign. I don't know what she's talking about. I think she's talking about me, Chris. I'm the only one who does it. Uh, so, you know, I'm flattered. Thank you for listening, Governor. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't understand that. And this is not the first time we've heard this line of reasoning, if you will. Uh, the, the Christians who are 80% of this country, at least, who control everything, they have this persecution complex. Yeah, I don't know where they got that from. Uh, but it's ridiculous in 20th, 21st century in America to have a persecution complex when you're all powerful. So I don't know what she's talking about. I'm the only one mocking, and I'm doing it in a very funny way. Chris, religious, doing very well in theaters now. If you've seen it, see it again. What did you make of General Powell's, I thought, bold statement in defense of religious diversity? I know you're an agnostic, a self-proclaimed one. And, and many people, not many people, some people are in this country, obviously, and almost everybody has some sort of question about their faith. They think about their faith. They wonder about it. They have moments of doubt. Of course, <clears throat> people do. But here he was doing something that seemed to be not necessary, but maybe we know it is. He said... What's this about calling Barack Obama Muslim, which he is, and he's a lifelong Christian, but if he were, if a kid were seven years old who were Muslim, and then he talked about the soldier who died because he wanted to defend his country, America, against what those people did on 9-11, and he did die in Iraq for his country. Uh, the mother was at the graveyard, her head on the tombstone. Uh, I thought it was interesting that a guy of his power and popularity risked everything to come out and say, yeah, you know what? It's okay to be from a real minority religion in this country. It's not just about lies told about Barack Obama. It's about when it's true that somebody has a minority religion. So what? Move on. Well, he can say that he's not running for anything. Uh, but as you and I both well know, uh, even though we pretend that there is no religious test in this country, of course there's a religious test in this country. You better be very religious, you better be Christian, and you better profess your faith at every turn, or else you have no chance of getting anybody's nomination for president. I mean, Barack Obama talks a lot about his faith, and he's supposedly the, the party that's not that totally into religion. Uh, but I hear him do it all the time, and when I hear him do that, all I can think is, I hope he's lying. I hope he's just pretending. I hope we finally have a secular president who's not going to run a faith-based administration. Because when you're faith-based, I'm sorry, it warps your thinking. No offense. Okay. Well, maybe there is offense. <laughs> Bill Maher, <laughs> one of the funniest guys I know. And sometimes you're too irreverent even for me. But thank you, Bill Maher. Real Time with Bill Maher airs Friday okay, nights Chris. at 11 p.m. But you can invite me on. That's okay. On HBO. And his new movie is called Religious. 